clearly you can see the differences between this and a 350X. Now, to the untrained individual who instantly says, hey, the seat height's tall. Well, a couple reasons. It's a long travel rear end. We have to make sure that this exhaust doesn't contact this caliper. This will happen on most, most builds you see online because everybody focuses on getting that seat as low as possible, which it's not a bad thing. You know, um, if you want a flat track or go around a sand pit, but uh, we make these so you can jump them 80 feet and land flat. We also like to favor the front end. Gets the traction up towards the front tire. Allows you to actually uh, control suspension sag. So if you want to set sag when you're sitting on it, you can actually drop it down a few inches. Again, that's when you're sitting on it, not with it sitting like this. It's actually in its highest position right now. There's a slight amount of free sag. Another thing that people do not uh, take into consideration when riding modern trikes, you wanna make sure you have a correct sag on your front forks too while you're riding. As you enter a corner, you're actually gonna compress those forks and bring that tire farther up and compress the suspension. This allows you to maintain front end traction. If you don't set this up correctly, these will not steer. Again, check out our video, Trek Motocross, so you can see some riding action. If you like these builds please uh please subscribe more hits we get i mean we're just going to be amped up to do more cool builds appreciate it guys